Good morning and welcome to Sunday Morning Beers. Good morning. Good to be back after uh, a hiatus. Although it was a very fun hiatus and it's not really that great to be back. I guess it was better to be gone uh, on a unsuccessful, unfortunately yeah. unsuccessful uh, hunting trip up north. Uh, but I had a good time at the cabin. Uh, Phil and I were up there and uh, it, there was a little incident with uh, some beavers up there mm -hmm. that had uh, dammed up the pond. And uh, I think Phil is still... Phil, still seething from the, the beaver brawl, we call it the Great Beaver Brawl of uh, 2012, so uh, a memorable experience nonetheless. Yeah. Let's, uh, and, and we have other members uh, in our studio audience, you know, normally we're just looking at Phil as he's, you know, the producer of the show. Uh, this time we have uh, Lily and Finnegan, yes. both uh, both captivated uh, by... Well, Lily's captivated, today. Finnegan's yeah. captivated by the Christmas tree. <laughs> Christmas tree. He's determined to take out the Christmas tree. Well, he did take it out yesterday. It was laying on the floor when I got home from work. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's not looking like uh, there's going to be a Christmas tree. Not a very merry uh, Christmas uh, on, this the, house. on the uh, uh, on the set uh, this no, year. Yeah. No. All right. So uh, let's check out this beer here. What we have here is something that you can't buy in Michigan. Uh, I believe this came from uh, Wisconsin because. Three places that we buy beer, Wisconsin, Ohio, and Michigan, mm -hmm. and it's not available in uh, Ohio or Michigan, so it's got to be Wisconsin. Uh, it's from Alaskan Brewing Company. It's called Birch Bock. It's a double bock with Alaska birch syrup. Now, you might not have ever had Alaskan Brewing Company beers before. Uh, we've had the pleasure of having your beers. As a matter of fact, we once, uh, I don't remember how long ago, it's been a while now, we About once had years, uh, think, dinner with the brewmaster. From Alaska Brewing Company, we went to a beer dinner in uh, Seattle, and uh, good beers. Um, I, th I had actually had a couple of their beers before that beer dinner, but they had some specialty beers f just for the dinner, and uh, kind of pilot beers like this. This is uh, a pilot mm -hmm. beer here too. So uh, we got some good swag from there. We did get some, some good nice swag. Some nice pint from glasses there. and yep. some, uh, two. So let's uh, check this out. 8.5% uh, ABV. Uh, double Bach with Alaskan birch syrup. You can see there is, uh, I'm guessing, not a lot of carbonation. There's no head on that at all. It's a slightly hazy copper color. Deep, mm -hmm. well, hazy red. Let's put it that way. Lily's in tree. She is. She's, <laughs> she, she looks like she wants a sip, doesn't she? It's, really it is definitely this. very undercarbonated. It's very rich, malty. Caramely. There's a flavor in there that I'm guessing it's birch syrup. I've never had birch syrup before. Mm, um, it doesn't remind me of maple syrup, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of if you've ever had maple sap, which maple sap uh, has kind of a woody flavor to it. Okay. And that's what this sort of reminds me of, like a thicker maple sap. Like, like you had started to boil it down, but not enough that it picked up the mapley character. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Okay. What do you think? You like it? It's real sweet, I think. Kind of sweet. You know, at first I didn't notice the aroma. Did you notice that uh -huh. aroma? It's very unique. It's fruity. Mm -hmm. It's good. Uh, fruity and kind of woodsy, maybe a little nutty. Mm -hmm. hmm. It is a little warmy. I can tell it's, uh, yeah. it's above 8%. It's good. I like it. If you can uh, find that... It's almost like a barley wine. Got kind of the richness of a barley wine. Well, more of a double bock, though. Okay. Not, not fruity like a barley wine. Okay. So I would say, yeah, the maltiness in, in that of a, a double bock, which is what it is. So there you have it. If you can find that somewhere... Um, oh, this is from the pilot series. They probably didn't do a whole lot of it. But uh, check it out if you can find it. Definitely worth it. So, uh, what's going on at uh, the brewery? You know, it's uh, it's almost Christmas time. Yeah. It's time to uh, start planning your Christmas parties. We've already got uh, several of them planned already, or several of them, uh, you know, reserved for uh, Christmas parties. <coughs> oh my! <laughs> <laughs> and with it being that scared of Finnegan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of. And, uh, oh no! Uh oh yeah, can't fight. Can't fight. Can't fight. And uh, with it being. Uh, December, already hard to believe that it is December. You know that snow plowed 
mm. is almost on its way. We it like is snowflake. our seasonal beer, very, very popular beer. It was the first beer ever at Fourth Street Brewery that outsold the Lincoln Lager. Wow. Now we, we have uh, other beers that outsell Lincoln Lager, which is great to see that transformation that people are drinking, you know, more flavorful beers that people have really gotten that much advanced. Um, and for those who don't know what Snowcloud is? Snowcloud is a, it's sort of originally uh, was uh, my loose interpretation of the Finnish Saudi beer, which was a rye juniper beer, um, but really kind of the signature ingredient in there doesn't have anything to do with Saudi, and that's caramel oats, mm. uh, which have this really wonderful nutty, um, uh, you know, I know that sounds cliche to say that it's nutty, but this caramel oats, really, you could eat them right out of the bag. Mm -hmm. I mean, they literally, they could be a bar snack. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, you add the tanginess of the juniper. Very popular beer. Very, it very is. popular it's beer. Very is. So, uh, what we have this Thursday, actually, is a cask-conditioned version of that. Um, and to the cask, uh, I added cocoa nibs. Okay. Cocoa nibs. So, cocoa nibs, what they are, they're the roasted uh, cocoa shell. So... It's not chocolate in the way that you would think it is. They're more kind of like cocoa. Yeah, yeah, like cocoa, uh, like which is which is which is a little more bitter. Yeah, like Nestle cocoa. And yeah. um, the other thing that they kind of remind me of, if you just eat them themselves, the cocoa nibs, kind of remind me of taking uh, nuts because they're very they are crunchy like that. Okay. Taking nuts and coating them in unsweetened chocolate. Okay. So you get sort of a chocolate flavor, but you get the nuttiness and crunchiness of that, uh, mm -hmm. if you can imagine that. So, okay. so those added to the snowplow, which this is this is very young yet. Um, we're not actually going to put snowplow on for another week yet. So, so it's a young version of that with cocoa nibs in it. But, okay. but pretty exciting, you know, that uh, the snowplow is going to come back. I guess if you like winter, if you don't like winter, then you're probably not excited that the snowplow is coming back <laughs> because. You know, uh, when we were up in the UP there for hunting, uh, in the Sioux, uh, six to eight inches of snow well, while, while we were there. You so know what's winter was eventually like last that's going to come down here. Yeah. You know, although last year, you're right, last year was not much snow. Uh, last year was very mild. So, mm. um, and we really haven't seen any winter type weather here yet. Oh well, we did have a little bit of snow while you were gone. Yeah. One Sunday morning, I woke up and it was. It was snow on well, the car. I think. Well, it is. It is December, so mm -hmm. uh, we are going to see it pretty soon. Yeah. So, you know, you might as well drink a winter beer. Not guess, this. Right? Not today. It's supposed to be warm today. No. No. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. So that's what's going on. Fourth Street Brewery. Uh, Thursday, a new beer, and um, you know, start planning your holiday parties for sure. Lots of other exciting stuff going on. So that's right. we'll see you this week at Fourth Street Brewery. Have a good week. Take Cheers. care, everyone. Cheers.